My name is Nana Okesawara. I'm a 7th grader in Musashikawa Girls Middle School. And I can't help but wonder, why did this happen to us? I was just playing around with some drama club friends and some high school kids after class. When suddenly, everything went white. And we found ourselves trapped in here. And by we, I mean me, my friend Shihaya Yamase from Homeroom, and an old friend from another class, Nari Amatoya, who I've known practically forever. Those two were the only ones in the room with me when it came to. I'm not sure what happened to the others. A rep from another class, Hikari Kirigami, and two high schoolers named Narese and Kazune were with us before, but are nowhere to be found now. So Jihaya, Nari, and I have been wandering these halls aimlessly for quite some time in search of them. Jihaya was the first to brave using the bathroom, and even went in alone, but came running out not a moment later, claiming to have heard a scary voice. During her flight, it seems she dropped the pouch she always cares of her, and never agreed to go in and find it in her place. The mirror's so cloudy, you really can't make anything out. This mirror is perfectly clear, but only your own pallid face stares back at you. For goodness sake, Chihaya, this is clearly the boy's room! A strong stench hangs over the urinal. Aha! Found it! There's a pink plastic pouch on the ground. Pick it up. Nana! Ah! Oh, it's you! Don't scare me like that! Sorry, you've just been in here for a while, so I was getting a little worried. Is everything alright? Yeah, everything's fine. Thanks, though. Great, I'll stay with Shihaya then, and you finish what you're doing. But please, if you can, hurry it up. Is it... a g g ghost Most impressive. Found you. Without searching my soul. People have been barging in on me a lot lately, you see. I'm getting rather uppity with the living for always shamelessly opening the door with reckless abandon as your comrade did a moment ago. See, I'm quite easily frightened, as it happens. The only place where I feel truly safe and at home is in this restroom stall. It's strange. I can't explain why, but I don't find this person scary at all, even though he's clearly a ghost. Hmm. As the spirit sways from side to side, the faint blue light radiating from his body twinkles throughout the room. Nana? Jihaya! I found it! Here! Yay, thank you. You know, though. When you drop something, shouldn't you be the one to go look for it? Nari... I... I'm... Don't cry, Chihaya. There's nothing scary in there. In fact, quite the opposite. There is actually a ghost, but he's friendly, and he even talked to me. You serious? Isn't that, like, dangerous? No, it's totally fine. He seemed like a really nice person. I don't suppose. You want to meet him yourselves, would you? What? I think... I would. After all, we've been here for all several hours now, and there hasn't been anyone else to talk to this whole time. Ah. Uh. It's really true. He's not scary at all. Uh. If I may, 
I have a favor to ask of you three. Some rogue fiend absconded with my prize gentleman set, by which I mean my hat and my glasses. If you should happen upon them in your wanderings, would you be so kind as to return them to me? So your possessions have been stolen then? That's terrible. Wait here. We'll find them. You are too kind. Looks like our noble party of adventurers have accepted a guess. Let's give it everything we've got. right -o. This is so ridiculous. A child's bloody handprint is clearly visible on the glass. There's a message scribbled on the wall. Try the stall to the right. One more over. One more over. Too far, go back one. There's a pair of sunglasses in the stall with star-shaped lenses. I think it would be really hard to look good in these. The door seems affixed to the wall like a model. It can't be opened. A strange force seems to be repelling you. You cannot progress beyond this point. Ugh. The spirit stuck out his lower lip and shook his head quite fervently. Seems he doesn't much care for them. Guess they're not his after all. Unsurprisingly. Looking for something? I'm sure you won't find it downstairs anywhere. Guides of the West is a liar. You mustn't believe a word he says. The Guides of the South is a liar. You mustn't believe a word he says. The two guys to the North of me are both telling the truth. You should believe everything they say, and you should also return to the third floor right away, without exploring anywhere else beforehand.
There's a pair of distinguished looking glasses sitting on the banister. Take them. The countdown has begun. You better hurry. Hurry, scurry! Find what you are looking for? You have my eternal gratitude. I've always felt that these glasses existed in this world solely to be worn by me. Oh, how I missed them. They look really good on you. I guess all that's off now is to find your hat, right? You are too kind. The item you seek is downstairs. Need help finding it? Try talking to the moving spirits. Don't touch the pretty key. It's my precious. The spirit is holding a key marked infirmary. Yank it away from him. The door is locked. Use the infirmary key. It's an old-fashioned space heater. Unfortunately, it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. It's a hat! There's a felt hat on the ground that seems to radiate an air of luxury and refinement. Take it. Chihaya? I'm tired. I hate this. I want to go home. Chihaya, it's okay. We'll get out of here. I know we will. How can you even say that? What possible reason could you have for believing that we'd ever be able to leave this place? Chihaya... Are you saying I can hold you responsible if we never get home again? Chihaya, that's enough. I've had about all I can take of your whining. We're not in the safety of our own familiar little world anymore. People aren't going to bend over backwards to spare your feelings here. We're fighting for survival. It's every girl for herself. So don't think for a minute that we're going to stop and console you every time you have a damsel in distress moment just because we're your friends. Go ahead and cry. See if I care. Nari, that was totally uncalled for. 
Not everybody's as strong-willed as you, you know. Fine. Do whatever the hell you want, then! Uh... You have my thanks once again. I've always cherished this hat, you see. It was specially selected for me by Tanaka, one of my most beloved subordinates. I am so glad we were able to find it. It seems like it means a lot to you, and it just feels really good to help someone in need. Doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. You are truly benevolent souls. My eternal gratitude is yours. You possess such clear eyes and pure hearts. If I still lived, I would use the rest of my days to offer you protection and guidance. I shan't lose these items again. And I should hope that you not lose the generosity you've shown, for this place can easily and quickly crush the spirit. In times like this, especially, it is important that you not succumb to despair, nor forsake your true nature. Rather, you should scoff in despair's rotund face and embrace who you are. You should love yourselves. But now I must bid adieu, for my home is calling to me. I pray that you three as well will find your way back to your own homes in due time. Fare thee well. I love you. I have no means of being exercised from this place, of course. So this is as close to home as I can find. Ah, be it ever so humble. <laughs> He's a pretty fun person, huh? Huh. <sighs> Although still apprehensive about our surroundings, we felt slightly better having done a good deed, and held our heads high as we exited the bathroom. From there, we began wandering the darkened halls of the abandoned school building once again. Narise, Kazune, Hikari. Our missing friends. We called their names over and over again as we walked, but our voices just seemed to be absorbed by the darkness in front of our faces, where they melted away into nothingness. We knew that eventually, those voices would give out altogether, and our bodies would cease to function. It was only a matter of time. But despite that inevitability, we decided then and there that we would keep on walking, for as long as it took. We couldn't give up. We had to continue struggling against our fate, calling out into the darkness with whatever voices we had left, for as long as we lived. The new member is here! Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Ah, Jay! What a nice surprise!